So we have the sort of the fabric of the space-time continuum. If you've ever watched a science fiction movie, you've heard of the space-time continuum. Scientists have long pursued a deeper understanding of wormholes and now appear to be making progress. What? Ah. This week, researchers announced that they forged two minuscule simulated black holes in a quantum computer and transmitted a message between them through what amounted to a tunnel in space time. So they say you want to go from here to there. But it's too far, right? Mm -hmm. So a wormhole bends space like this, so you can take a shortcut through a higher dimension. Now, it wasn't quite on the scale of interstellar, but what was created was a baby wormhole. Now, don't get too excited. Scientists are still a long way from being able to send people or other living beings through such a portal. Well, wait, 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 wait. He's trying to send Stop. actual objects from one place to another. That's correct. Follow me, please. <laughs> A wormhole, a rupture in space and time, is considered a bridge between two remote regions in the universe. Scientists refer to them as Einstein-Rosen bridges after the two physicists who described them, Albert Einstein and Nathan Rosen. So Einstein's general theory of relativity, which is the uh, our understanding of how gravity works in the universe, says that any presence of mass or energy will warp the fabric of space and time. Wormholes are consistent with Einstein's theory of general relativity, which focuses on gravity, one of the fundamental forces in the universe. I don't get it, Doc. I mean, how can all this be happening? Well, let's hear from the physicists who achieved this crazy feat. In physics, you have to have the courage of your own convictions and you say, well, maybe it won't work the way that I thought, but we'll learn something by trying. And that's really the attitude we had going into this. I don't think we really thought it was going to work, but we thought we would learn a lot by seeing how far you could get. They didn't say, you're crazy, let's do something else. They said, okay, you're crazy, let's do it. The researchers observed the wormhole dynamics on a quantum device at Google called the Sycamore Quantum Processor. No rupture of space and time was created at physical space in the experiment, but a traversable wormhole appeared to have emerged. What happens is the qubits of the Google Quantum Computer are making a little bit of extra space, and that's our wormhole. A pulse of negative energy falls into the wormhole. Now the wormhole becomes traversable, it opens. In the future, the researchers hope to extend their work to more complex quantum circuits. Though bonafide quantum computers may still be years away, the team plans to continue to perform experiments like this on existing platforms. I was absolutely astounded. I, I thought we would get maybe a few steps towards a real wormhole and a real quantum computer. And I never really believed that we'd get all the way to something that, that was real. So until wormhole travel holds up, we'll just return to our science fiction movies. Yeah. <laughs>